big to profit. Yes. I speak for the team. Same from them as well. They go for profit. Ten it has an mm. eerie feeling about it. You know, like last time I played TI Finals, I had to play against first big profit all the time. Well, I'm, I'm first big myself. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is a secret, never told before story of nature's profit. No, it's not just based on Alliance's victory on TI3. No, 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 no. This story is far greater than that. And it's only being told or revealed by yours truly, Crystallis Dota. So make sure you subscribe and join me. In fact, this may be the most interesting and amazing story yet. Essentially, it's about Nature's Prophet and how this hero truly impacts the international, the TI, the biggest tournament in Dota. We will look at how Nature's Prophet is the deciding hero that ultimately decides which team wins TI. Using key examples from the international, Crystal's Dota will explain why Nature's Prophet is the go-to hero, is the clutchest hero, is the most important hero when you want to win an international. When 10 million dollars is on the line, Nature's Profit is the way to go. Now let's go back. Let's go back to the history of Nature's Profit. Grand Finals. In Grand Finals, and Lions takes it, so by Same from them as well, they go for Profit. It has an eerie feeling about it. Yes, Nature's Profit was first utilized by Admiral Bulldog. We all know that, the king of Rat Gaming Alliance. We got that story out, right? Ladies and gentlemen, that was TI3. That was way back in 2013. <laughs> but have you guys wondered how impactful this hero truly is? How versatile this hero really is? How it can be played in different ways? It all depends on the player and the style. For example, let's go back to TI7, the international of 2017. Game number one of the International 2017 Liquid vs Newbie. Let's see how the first pick of the Grand Finals, Nature's Profit, comes out. In fact, let's see what Kuroki, the captain of Team Liquid, has to say about this, you know? I waited four fucking years for this day. Guys? This time we're gonna rewrite yes. history. Yeah. Oh, cool. oh. You know, like last time I played TI Finals, I had to play against First Big Profit all the time. Well, I'm, I'm First Big myself. <laughs> he says, I'm tired of losing to Nature's Profit First Big. He remembers losing to TI3 Admiral Bulldog's Profit just like it was yesterday. They're gonna do it! They're the gonna do it! The North. Alliance wins! The they Alliance. win TI3! The they are your international three champions. He remembers it. He replays that moment over and over. And because of that, guess what he does? Just like all great historians, they learn from their past. They're able to implement a new way of thinking based on the past. They're able to advance and make a change. Well, based on the advancement, Liquid Kuroki decides to pick Nature's Prophet first pick at game number one. Ultimately, based on that one pick alone, that Nature's Prophet pick, Team Liquid become the victors of the International of 2017. It is a clutch pick, it's a clutch hero, and I will explain you why. Now let's look into this. So at this point, we will see how Liquid Mind Control utilizes Nature's Profit, and we will see how it can do many different things. It's not just an offlane hero. It's not just a rat gaming hero. It's something far greater. It becomes a go-to hero when need be. When everything is at stake, when everything is on the line, you pick this hero and you pray that you have success. Based on the previous TIs, we can see that that prayer usually comes true. You see, Mind Control was able to do so many things, so many different things, and eventually help Team Liquid win against Nubi at TI7. There is TI must be champion. Is it Nubi's? No, it's not Nubi's. Yes! <laughs> now, go to the last TI. The International of 2018, where Team OG goes up against LGD Gaming, the Chinese powerhouse. OG was the underdog. They were not the favorites, but despite that, they persevered. They showed that their love for the game is far greater than anyone's imagination, even the entire nation of China. Yes, folks. Guess what Johan decides to pick? Johan, the captain, the position 5 player, decides to pick Nature's Prophet. Why not pick the Prophet? Yes. I speak for the team. Now, this is a Nature's Prophet pick 
unlike Admiral Bulldog, unlike Liquid Mind Control, but in fact, it is a support, a position 5 Nature's Prophet. And we will see how he literally impacts the game and how the prayer and the miraculous work of this hero eventually leads Team OG to win at Game 5, the final deciding game. You see, throughout the whole year, Nature's Prophet was never utilized like this. But how come every time in TI when it's a final game, when it's a deciding game, this hero pops up? This goes to show that this hero is more deeper, more intellectually impactful. You have to think how to use this hero. You can do many different things with this hero. You can place observer wards. You can de-ward at a faster rate. You can teleport anywhere in the map. You can sprout your enemy. You can even sprout your own teammate to provide cover so they can TP out. You can do many different things. And no Tail shows us that. You see, no Tail does many things that we don't notice. He's a great leader. He's a great supporter. He's a great motivator. But at the end, we get to see his plays on Nature's Prophet. Ladies and gentlemen, this hero is truly a remarkable hero. And it has impact on the international beyond one's comprehension. To this day, Chrysalis Dota is just looking deeply at the international and giving you a story about this hero and how it has impacted the history of Dota. Three, they look towards Somnus surrounding him in the pit. Somnus, he'll go down as well. Oh the buyback from Anna securing the fight here for OG. There's only Exnova left alive, but not for long. They chase him down. They get the team wipe. Triple kill for Anna as he buys back, plays his way back over. Arme's dead for 60. Still alive at the moment. And all the Euros oh, gets the nice. dodge. Anna up into the end, dodging the Echo Slap. Somnus, he's trapped here in the Sprout. OG, they'll slowly punch down the Kunkka. The stall of Vincent Jurax sets up onto FY. OG, day three and up into the base. Abilities at this point. Yeah, especially with Jerax. I mean, they started the fight on FY, got the Fissure, and after that, it's nearly impossible to kill on him. It's a tier three tower and gone. Even for this next fight, Jerax actually stole Ghost Ship at the end of it. So he has this available. There's a full pipe now, and there's the set of the Nimbus Bam, the stolen bow, X Nova gone. Buys back, but OG have taken a second melee rack him and a second range rack. 20,000 net worth leader, 31 minutes. Down to half health. He's trying to retrieve the chains. They get themselves another son that's taken down. Azame with a BKB reflection. You see, I want to take a moment and pause and explain to you, you know? Like Secrets Captain Puppy once said that it's the greatest minds, the greatest thinkers that ultimately win the game. They impact the game in ways that one cannot comprehend. Many of these great leaders, great thinkers, they go to a hero that they know can be used in so many ways. Johan decides to pick Nature's Prophet. Why? Because he has studied the game. He has over 15,000 hours of Dota played. This means that he knows many different things that we do not know, but only he himself does. Only a great thinker. This is why Notel picks a Nature's Prophet as a position 5 hero to not be a core player, but instead a support. A support that does everything for the team. Everything you can imagine for the team. And that's why he is a champion today. You see? And Nature's Prophet was one of the factors, one of the reasons why these teams end up winning. Why Team Alliance has won TI3. Why Team Liquid won TI7. And now, why Team OG has won the International 2018. Perhaps in the future, we will see more uses of this Nature Prophet hero in the Grand Finals of TI. Of HP, if Dendi gets this, if he gets this, they might not be able to stop S4, him, S4. Roche, TP back in here, and he bashes, there's a stun on Dendi, Dendi's dropping low, Roshan, Roshan, S4 picks up the agents, Alliance is still in game five. But well, keep in mind that Admiral Bulldog crushing in the bot lane as well. Navi, I think they have to back off. No, they said we want to go in. Hopefuls, no BKB. Nice goal set for blocking the stun. But he gets left in. EGM. Oh no, Akin, you draw. Oh, what a crit. Dandy on loads. But it's bot lane, bot lane. Bot lane. going for the throne. There's no glyph. They must defend. Oh, Bulldog. Cat and mouse with Puppy. The tier 4 is in jeopardy. Navi running out of options. It's a net throw 3. It's all in on the push.
Oh my god, Rax is gonna go down. We're gonna see a TP from Dendi, and that will drive Emma Bulldog out of the base. Meanwhile, you see Havol still trying to run every buyback being spent on both sides. But look at the damage he did. That's the last tier four. The way to the throne is now open. But no boots of travel. Oh, oh, so Dendi's TP as well. They are in now huge on the trouble. But it's caught. Now, if they go for the throne, it could be game. Funix down. Alliance are doing it. They need a little more for those to fall. Throne in jeopardy. They're going to do it. The They're going to the North Alliance wins. Yeah. They win. TI3. The they are your international three champions. They have taken. I hope you guys enjoyed this story. Make sure you subscribe to Crystal's Dota for more crazy content just like this. Anyways, I'm out.